Now, uh, I want to talk to you about how to determine, very simply, when you get out of bed or afternoon after some strenuous activity or just your normal routine, you can check to see if your planes of motion we've talked about are off. You simply, Jeff, if you do this yep. one too, you bring your elbows on your chest wall, you make a fist, and you'll notice when I do that how much higher my right fist is. So Jeff, if you could bring yours all the way up. Now, when you look at those, they look pretty good. They look pretty good for you, yep. Yeah. And we let them drop. And I can see my right hand is a lot higher. Yep. Yeah. And I'm good. You're good. Okay. Yesterday, Jeff and I moved a kitchen stove up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you did it. That's how I did it. Okay. How, how many steps? 20? Yeah, 25, 25 steps. 25 steps. 25 yeah. steps. I'm on the bottom and I'm lifting on every step. And uh, I felt it when I woke up this morning, my low back and backside. So when I checked, now here is our 14, 16, and 18 inch stick. So when I checked, which I landed yesterday on my upper core or the red or 14 inches. So if I go to 14 inches and I raise my hand, I can extend my fingers. You can see the difference in the hand of it. When I go to mid core, everything level, levels up. So my core that I was using, moving up that, those steps, probably not wise at the time, I could have moved it back. Moved oh, sure, upper mid. core. Yeah. yeah. I was using my upper core, so I was using uh, on the front. So what, what does this do? So let's take a look from the side. How do I know it's on the front? Uh, because when I put this bar on my hips, and I go to the upper core, 14 inches here, and I stand tall and relaxed, I'm absolutely square. Totally square. When I add, uh, what do you see there? That looks good. Okay, well yep. what happens when I add knee flex? You open up. And that's what's telling me it's on the front. Right. Okay? It's on the front of the core that I'm off. So, to change this, there are exercises you can do we can drill down, I can actually drill down on these nine stance widths and determine, in fact, let me do that, which one of these subregions is off. So I'm on the one, then I'm good. On the one. Okay. I'm on two, and I'm rotating. So that is the middle of my uh, upper core okay. in the subregion. So if I stand tall, I'm good as soon as I have knee flex. So two, that's three. Good there. That, that's four is good. Now, so you can go through these relatively. You've got to be relaxed when you do this. Five is good. I can feel the changes. Six is good. And seven is good. And I haven't done this, by the way. I'm testing it as we go here. Eight is good. And nine is good. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to two. Yep. Totally relaxed, and there I am. So I'm open. Now, let's drill down a little further. If I put these on my, these are the um, sleeves that have a ridge on. Yep. I put this all the way down on my upper core power spot. So we have, I have within the number two here, we've drilled down, I'm in the upper core, I'm in the middle, but I also have three more subregions within that. Right. So I had knee flex here, I'm good. I'm on two, I've moved this to the upper core. Now I'm gonna go, I'm sliding this up so the ridge is right on that knuckle, which is my mid core. Right on that crease. Right on that crease. Okay. I had knee flex, and there it is. There it is. 
Okay? So that's my mid core onto having drilled down. So, Jeff, you can do the math. I don't know how many core zones or core sub cells we're into. It's a lot. Yeah. Now, I'm moving this to the lower. And I'm good. You're good. So, this is in mid, number two. So what do I do? I'm going to go back down the mid, I'm on number two, add knee flex, and there it goes. Yeah. So what do you do to fix it? I'm going to fix it now. Okay. Okay. But let's just for the sake of you know, checking, we're going to go through all of these on mid. They're all going to be good. I'm going through the nine stance widths again with this covering my mid. So if it is, if you think about, as I was going up the steps, I'm leaning forward and I'm lifting. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Jeff was back and pulling yeah. uh, on the dial. And I feel good today. Yeah. It's crazy, <laughs> right? And I've had the back surgery. Yeah. So um, the way I fix this then, if, if it's on the front, I have, to, I have to exercise the back in a static position. So all I'm going to do now, I have these still on my mid, mid core. I'm going to use two. Oh, okay. I'm going to, so I'm going to go to two here. I'm going to lay on my back. I'm going to go to zero on my uh, nine yep. stance. Yep. I'm going to go to two. Now when I, when I go on my back, look at my hands now. See the difference? Yeah. So <clears throat> there's a couple of exercises that I can do a wall sit. I'm going to do a bridge so you can see the longer I hold this, I'm going to hold it until my hands leave it out. In through my nose, on my, that's my exercise. So all I'm doing is balancing the muscles. This is what would be called a lower cross syndrome, where I have rotation. So rather than exercising the front, I exercise the back, and that looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Okay, that's how quickly I can balance. And let's put this back on. Thank you, Jeffrey. I go to two. And now I'm balanced. I balance front and back. Do you feel better too? I, might, I can feel my back. It feels like it's just been released. Yeah. Yeah. So in the fitness, in the right balance fitness, you're able to determine the real important thing we understand, you've got to be relaxed, is when you do this and your hands are not even, somewhere in your body, in the planes of motion, you can find it. Your body's off. Okay? And as Jeff was demonstrating in the other videos, we step forward, we step back, but as soon as you can identify the issue, uh, you want to check all the planes of motion. But it's pretty straightforward as long as you can understand what, what exercise to do to balance the muscles. And I have a lot of freedom of motion now. I don't have the rotational resistance. If I were going to go play, try and play golf, I'm going to get stuck in the back swing and wonder why. My, even though my hips may look square to dress because they have the tape on, that's still going to impact my back. How'd you sleep last night? I woke up with a lot of, uh, not a lot of discomfort, but I you felt were, like my, I, my, I felt like my hip flexors were on fire. Huh. That's what I felt like this morning. Um, and uh, You don't feel like that? Not at all. Yeah, just with that simple deal. Yes, that's, it's, it is yeah. that simple. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching.